falls into the category of having done pretty amazing things for more than three decades, so we don't bother with the CV. We just say, please welcome Mr. Peter Garrett. <laughs> You've brought something in tonight. Is it a tomahawk? What, what, no, it's no, not. No. A tomahawk. What, what have you actually brought? I saw something. Yeah, I've got something hiding down here. I'm going to bring it out right now, Santo. Ooh, ooh. This is an iron bar. Right. It's the Iron Bar Awards, instituted by the ACF, the Australian Conservation Foundation, tongue-in-cheek award, for the person or organisation who's done more through their words or actions to increase the membership of environment organisations and increase the passion <laughs> and the capacity of environmentalists. And we thought we should recognise the people that are doing it really well, like Shandwick PR, the ones that the Japanese government paid to put the spotlight on their scientific whaling. Okay. Yeah. They were one of the nominations. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Yep. I could, I could dob in some relatives about what they've done. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. We, we could do a family, a family section. <laughs> the Prime Minister, Mr Howard, for yeah. opposing genetic engineering labelling. We've got the worst possibility, the worst laws in the developed world. <laughs> Oh, North, they're all great contestants. Yes, they are. Yeah. Norse, the big uh, resources company, great sponsors of land care, great clearers of wood chips, great miners of uranium at Jabaluka. Mm. And Wilson Tucky, who is the Minister for Conservation and Forests. Uh, he's pretty renowned for his sensitivities. One of the things that he said last week was that um, land clearing doesn't contribute to salinity. So we had an informal vote and we decided that for the inaugural awards, the very best person for it would be Wilson Tucky and we called them the Iron the Bar and oh. here they are. Congratulations. Okay. That's what Congratulations. I wanted to show you. And what does Wilson Tucky do? What, what's he minister of? He's actually the minister for conservation and forests and he spends most of his time hoeing into environmentalists. Huh? How so, does that work? What, what are you doing? At the, in what am I doing? To be, are you still involved politically or are you, how are you? Yeah. You're the president of yeah. ACF. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ACF president. It's my second term. Okay. And uh, really enjoying working with conservationists right around Australia on a whole range of issues. Stuff like the uranium mining at Jabaluka, coastal pollution issues, GE, the genetic engineering, salinity, we've just announced with the National Farmers Federation a joint initiative to spend some money on fixing up the rural lands, the waters, uh, the and, and what's it like working with the Farmers Federation? Because they're sort of almost sworn enemies, aren't they? Well, yeah. it's really interesting because we don't see eye to eye on everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, you know, there's certain things like sort of land rights and Aboriginal rights and land clearing that we have to sort of say, well, look, we'll leave those things on the table. But we both agree that making sure that Australia's land and landscapes are repaired properly is an absolute priority for us. So we can work together well on that. And we will work well. Are you mm -hmm. getting a sense that the community is uh, coming with you, changing their views? What's, what, you, how long have you been involved now? This is my second term, Glenn. I did uh, three or four years at the end of the 80s. I yeah. stayed working as an activist. I did a bit of time with Greenpeace, went on the road with the oils, came back. This is my second term with ACF. Look, the ACF's got more members than ever before. Mm. Australians, young Australians especially, absolutely passionate about it mm. still. But we're not getting the leadership and we're not recognising. I mean, I saw Ted Evans, the Treasury Secretary, say the other day, look, we've got to recognise that we need to balance the economy with the capacity to keep our environment intact because it's from the environment that you actually get your wealth ultimately. Yep. Yep. Uh, leadership is what we badly need from both sides of politics. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Yep. Are, are you a bit of a magnet for like crazy causes because people sort of see you as, you know, <laughs> as yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so some hey, person do will just go, you know, we want to protect something really weird and how, and how do you deal with that? Well, you I mean, that? you know, you get requests and letters mm -hmm. to do certain things but what amazes me is the stuff that's going on that you don't see on telly. You know, the things that are really going on, like there'll be an old retired couple who are fighting like hell in their backyard to stop something going on, or there's a bunch of kids that are building a tree platform, you know, in a forest down in southwest Western Australia. I mean, there's lots of really, really good things going on around the country. Mm -hmm. So I get to find out about them. Right. And yeah, you do get some stuff that's a bit off the wall, but you also get stuff that's terrific. Yeah. It must be so satisfying to be involved with it. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do you think the Olympic torch is adding to greenhouse gas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, we're going to have to look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Have you been asked to run a, a leg of No, I haven't been asked to do a leg. No, I've been, no, John Fay's the local member in my electorate, and I think it's something that the politicians have sort of positioned themselves yes, for. Yeah. With all respect to John. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. could get a job at Channel 7. And, and <laughs> do You'd well. be assuming. Let's talk oils briefly. You've, yes, got, you've got a new album out, The Real Thing. We have. Which is uh, a cover of the... Of oh, the real thing. Yeah, the original. Actually, because that's dessert, because it's like, you know, when a band goes to do a cover, it's a really big decision on which cover of all the classic songs do you get to, you know, do you want to pay tribute to, so yeah. to speak. What made you choose Russell Myers? Well, actually, Gary Morris, who manages us, and a few other people were putting together lists, and all the lists were really different. Mm -hmm. Like, on some of the lists, it was all sort of Aussie rock. Yep. Sure. On some lists, it was all kind of obscure Dylan classics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But each list had the real thing on it. 
Mm. That was really interesting. Yeah, and so we thought, well, why don't we have a shake at it? You know, and yeah. if it works, as I said, if it works, mm. then we'll keep it. And if it doesn't, we'll put it in the bin. Because it's really good the way it is. <laughs> well, she was in the studio down the road from us while it was happening. We're going, yeah, we're getting louder. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to come out and find this is rockier than yours. Come back in, boys, turn it up. It'd be nice if I sent you a fair. It'd be good if that becomes a version of the Shakespeare plays that everyone has a crack at the real yes, thing because well, it's, yeah. a, it's a song that stands a lot of versions. It, it was interesting. It does stand a lot of versions. I mean, when we went back and listened to it, we heard all this amazing production. We heard this sort of thing that evolved and it still stood up. Musically, it's very consistent. I mean, they did a big wig out because it was very hippie at the end and we've done a bit of a thrash thing, but, you know, the spirit's still there. Excellent. Plus, on the new album, there's a lot of Oil's classics done mm. unplugged. Mm. Yeah, that was when the unplugged thing was sort of at its height, and we figured when Guns N' Roses went unplugged, we wouldn't put our record out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. but uh, they did sound good when we got them out again. We did some in New York on, for the original MTV Unplugged, and we did mm. quite a lot in Sydney at the Metro. Plus, mm. we've got four new tracks. Well, we've got Say Your yeah. Prayers, which was on the Liberdade. Yeah, of course, yeah. the Timor, yes. And yes. a couple of other songs which we just had lying around the studio. And, and you're going to do a classic for us tonight from the 10987 album? We'd love to. Short oh, memory. Why don't we bring so. on the rest <laughs> of the oils? Rob, Jim, <laughs> Bones and Martin. Please welcome the rest of Midnight Oil. The album is in fact the real thing. It's out just this week. And a national tour with Midnight Oil starts July 30. Central Coast goes right round the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Midnight Oil. <laughs>
see now what I'm saying.